Okay, I got my thread on my needles and I'm ready to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my cuff button. So I'm going to just put in one needle through one hole and the other needle through the other hole like this. Then I'm gonna hang on, hold on to my needles and pull so that everything stays in the center of my threads. And I have equal amounts of threads on both my needles. So from here, <clears throat> I'm just going to pick up three 11 O's on each needle and I'm gonna let them drop. And then I'm gonna start with my first Helio speed. And I'm going to pick it up like this with one needle going in one hole and the other needle going in the other, just like this. It's still fairly early, well, early on in my project, so I'm still holding on to everything to make sure everything is in the center. Now from here, I am going to, on each needle, pick up a Moby Duo like this. on both of my needles. Now your Moby Duos have a flat side and a rounded side. You wanna make sure that you pick up all your Moby Duos the same. So, now, just now when I picked it up, see, this is how they look. My needle, one of them is on my uh, right hand side is going through the right hole the needle on my left hand side is going through the left hole, okay? So I'm letting them drop. And once I let them drop, I am going to hop on over to the other hole of my Moby. So I'm gonna do this on one side. And do this here, now I'm going to hold on to it and I'm going to pull. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. I went in through this hole and I'm hopping over to this hole of my Moby Duo. I'm holding on to it and then I'm going to pull. So my threads are coming out in the, in the center of my work. Now I'm going to pick up my 11-0 with one needle, doesn't matter which and I'm going to cross through it, meaning both of my needles are going to go through it, but they're going to go in through opposite directions. And once I'm coming out like this, needle on my right hand goes through this Moby Duo here. Needle on my left hand coming out on the left side is going to go through this Moby Duo here. Now this is the most complicated part and this is what we have. Now this is the most complicated part of the first step of the whole entire project. And um, everything else is pretty simple. It, and this isn't even complicated. It's probably not the most fun step to do, but it's not hard. So. Once you're coming out of this like that, you pick up an 11 on each needle and a Moby Duel on each needle like this. Let them drop. And then you're going to pick up an 11 0 and we're going to cross through this one too. And you probably know what I'm going to do next. See your, your threads are coming out through the center of your work again. This needle needs to go in through this Moby Duo. And this needle needs to go through this Moby Duo. And do not catch the 11 0 Just go through the Moby Duo. So this is what we have. Now, hop on over to the other hole of your Moby. Same thing on this side. And now we're going to pick up our Helios. And the, we're going to pick it up this way now, just like this. 
So one needle in one hole, one needle in the other, and let it drop. So now we're ready to do our little connecting unit, which is very simple. Just want everything centered really pretty. Now to connect, we're going to do two 11 O's on each needle, letting them drop, and then pick up your next Helios bead like this. Just like that. And pull, and we are ready to do this little component all over again. If you need to, uh, re rewind the video, go back and watch it again, and um, go ahead and do the number of units you're going to need. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do seven, which is good for my wrist. So I think most people will need anywhere between seven and nine units. So do the number of units you need. Also take into account the kind of clasp we are gonna use, and I'll be back. Okay, I did all of my units, and as I said, I did seven. And you want to finish a unit, of course, coming out of a helio speed, like this. And all I did was make my loop for my cup button. And both of my strings, well, both of my needles went through this, so I have two strings in my loop. Then with my needles, I went through the Helios and I'm at coming out of my Moby Duo beads out of this first hole here. Not the hole that has a string with this 11 o but the outermost hole on both sides. So coming out of my outermost hole on my Moby Duo on both sides. Now I'm just going to flip this over. And now the hardest part of this is already done. Okay, so we have two more passes and they're both super simple. So what we're gonna do, and we're gonna do this on both sides, you're going to pick up three 15 O's, go through, I'm coming out of this Moby Duel, right? The outermost speed. I've picked up three 15 O's. Now I'm going to go through this little 11 0 here that's in between these two Moby Do's. Then I'm going to pick up three more 15 O's. And then I'm just going to go through this Moby Duo through the outer hole. And you might not be able to go through the Helio speed right after. You might have to just do one at a time. So go through your Moby Duo and then out of your. Helio speed. So we put our little 15 O's there on the side. Let's do that on this side. I'm coming out of my outermost hole from this Moby Duo. I'm going to pick up three 15 O's. I'm going to go through this little 11 O bead right there. Then I'm going to pick up three more 15 O's. And then I'm going to go through the Moby Duo and the Helio Speed. Now from here, you can just, and then I'm going to go through my Helio Speed. And then I'm going to go through my first 11 O after my Helios. If you like, you don't have to do this part. You can just skip it and go through both of your 11 O's but I'm going to put a little bead there in the middle. So I'm going to put an, ele uh, an 8 -0, just so I can put a light colored bead in there. So I'm coming out of one of my 11 O's here. I'm going to pick up an 8 -0. I'm going to cross through it like that, and I just drag my bracelet across <laughs> across my beads, that's okay. Now I'm coming out of my 8-0, I'm going to go up the second 
11 out, just can't see it. This 11 out, and then through my Helios. Because remember, I was just going through that first 11 out. Now I'm coming out of my 8 out. I'm going to go through my second 11 out that's there, and through my Helios. And now I also need to go through my Moby Duo, through this outer hole on both sides. Whoops. On both sides. And now from here, I'm going to add my 15 O's again on the sides by adding three 15 O's going through this little 11 O right here. And then picking up three more 15 O's and going through my Moby Duo, out my Helios, and in through one of my 11 O's. Or if you don't want to put a bead in between these two, these 11 O's, you can just go through them and go into your next unit. So go ahead and finish this up, and I will show you what to do after this. Okay, I added all my seed beads on the side. This is what I have, and if you want, you can stop here. But um, you can just tie a knot, and then you already have a bracelet, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna add some crystals. So once I came back down my bracelet, I just went through these beads here, went through my cut button. And if you notice, I didn't put anything in my cut button. That's because I wanna glue a crystal on in there once I'm done with this. So once I took my needles in through my cut button and back down these 11 O's, uh, down my Helios, and again, we're coming out of our outer hole of our Moby Duos here. Now from here, you are going to add a 15, go through your first of your group of three here. So you add a 15 on your needle, whoops. You add a 15 on your needle, then you go through your first 15 O of your groupings of three. Then you add an 11 O, a crystal, and an 11 O. Go across here to this little grouping of three. Go through the third one. And then to close it off, you're going to add one more 15 O. And then go through your Moby Duo and out your helio speed and up your two 11 O's here and then you're going to go through your helio speed after and to get ready to do the next one so let's do this again coming out of my moby duo here pick up a 15 O go through your third um well not your third your first 15 0 here in line, pull, pick up an 11 0, a crystal, and another 11 0. Go through your third 15 0 there, pick up one more 15 0, and then go through your Moby Duo. Your your Moby Duo. And then push your little crystals in. Okay. And then out your Helio Speed. And then up these two 11 O's. Through your next Helios. And you're ready to do that again. So add all of your crystals on both sides and I will meet you back. Okay, so I added all of my crystals and I did change the color that I was using. I didn't um, like the look I was getting with the other ones. I think these pop out a little bit more, so I really like these. This is my practice one that I had done, so they're both very pretty and um, it is a very, very sweet and 
delicate looking bracelet. But this is how it looks. And this is how it looks on. And so, very cute, very nice. And the only thing I'm going to do now is just glue on my little crystal here. But this is what we have. This is what we have, and you should have something similar. And um, so, very simple, very fast project. Um, as I said, the only complicated, when, and it really wasn't that complicated part, was at the beginning when we were adding, when we were doing our units at the beginning with our Moby Duos, when we were coming from our Helios through our Moby Duos and then going into the other whole of our Moby Duos. But even then, that's not difficult. Um, and then the rest of it is just, you know, very, very easy and you end up very, very with, and you end up with a very nice and delicate looking piece. So, and this is the kind of jewelry that I like. I like simple pieces. I mean, I can do bold sometimes, but mostly I like simple. I like stuff that I can wear every day. And um, so, here we go. I hope you like this, and thank you very much for watching.